Hey guys, Troy here, back with another video today. I always hear people saying, oh, I wanna get into the soccer card market. I would love to get into soccer cards. I really should get into soccer cards, but most of them never actually do it. And today, I hope to speak to those people and give them my opinion on why I think now is a perfect time that you should be getting into the soccer card market. Now, disclaimers as always. First of all, I very well could be wrong. Let's get that out of the way. No one knows for sure, no matter how much people like to pretend they do, no one knows for sure where the market is gonna go. But I think we can look at some data, some historical graphs, stuff like that to at least help inform our decision. Yes, I do think it's a good time to get in the market, but at the end of the day, you have to make the decision for yourself on what you think is best to do. But all right, with that being said, let's just get into it. Now, let's look at the graph of Messi's 2014 Prism PSA 10. And yes, I realize this is not a true rookie, but I still think it's actually an important card in the soccer card market, at least to see where the market's at. So, as you see here, it got over $4,300 was the highest mark this card got to. Since about the middle of November, it has stabilized at around the $450 mark. Now, that tells me a couple things. So first of all, the stabilization slash plateau uh, that you see right here, nothing's ever 100%, but usually it's a pretty good sign that this is kind of like a bottom price that at least in the near term, it shouldn't dip much lower. For instance, you saw the same exact thing with Luca during the off season. I have pointed that out. It's prism was just like this for about a whole month. And that ended up being the absolute bottom of his card. And although he actually hasn't been playing too great so far in the season, if you had bought at that off season bottom, you'd be in a very good position with Luca. And once again, I'll reiterate, we have no idea where this graph will go. But for me, what's more likely? This card that was once over $4,000, albeit that was too high. Huge prism or overreaction. Everyone accepts that. But what's more likely? That it goes from $400 to, let's just say, $1,000? Or it goes from $400 to $100? With the World Cup, with the Euros, with all this stuff going on, I think it's a lot more likely it gets to $1,000. Even if it gets to 25%, guys, 25% of what its peak was, you're in a great position. Now, okay, maybe you don't believe in that Messi because it's a technically a 10th year card. Let's look at someone else. Let's look at Mbappe Prism. Once again, hit a peak of right under $3,000 and has since stabilized at around the $600 mark. So actually not quite as steep of a decline as Messi. I think this has a lot to do with the fact that this is much closer to a rookie card than that Messi is. And if you want, you can split hairs with me all day about, oh, his, his rookie sticker, all this sort of stuff. But you know what I'm trying to help illustrate here. Once again, the same theory applies. What do I think is more likely? Is this Mbappe gonna go down to $200? Or will it get back to 1500? You know, half of its previous peak. And this is my last kind of numbers analysis thing before I kind of just give my overall thoughts on the market and why I think it's a good time to buy. But Mbappe Prism PSA 9 going for $160 right now. Luka Doncic Prism PSA 9 going for about $650 right now. And that is with a pop count five times that of the Mbappe. Now, is the basketball card market more established, uh, probably more active, and almost definitely even more people in that hobby than soccer? 100% yes. Should the discrepancy between those two who are largely considered maybe the two hottest young players in their respective sports be that big for identical cards? I personally don't think so. Especially considering, yes, soccer cards are not as big of a deal as basketball cards right now, but soccer is the biggest sport in the world. I'm, I'm not here trying to sell you guys on water polo or lacrosse cards right now. And you guys know, who are in the basketball card market, what that Mbappe is going for, you can hardly get any rookies in basketball for that. I mean, at least relevant ones. And I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it this video, but I'll just say the names. Roy Hachimura, Darius Garland, all these guys. You know what their prism bases are going for. If you bought any of those guys three months ago, you're in a very good position right now. I'm not saying to sell, I'm just saying, 
um, maybe open your mind to potential opportunity, other opportunities in the card market. And I'll, I'll speak to you guys once again, who are heavily involved in the basketball card market. It is so, so hot right now. Every single player from the 2019 draft class, if they are relevant at all, people are chasing. Their cards are going up so high. Like it started off with your Tyler Hero, John Morant, Zion. They got out of control. Then people were like, okay, I'm gonna pick up Roy, uh, Darius Garland, some of those other people. And then those prices got out of control. And then now people are looking at Kevin Porter Jr., Jarrett Culver, and pretty much anyone. Basketball is so hot right now, and there have been insane returns in the past you know, two months that people are rushing to buy anything. So I'll, I'll leave you with a little bit of advice. This is advice that has been reiterated in my podcast, or if you saw recently, I had Darius on, really cool video talking about buying the two most expensive basketball cards of all time. So if you haven't seen that, definitely go check that out. And Tristan, my other friend who's had a lot of success on in the podcast, something we all reiterated is you wanna zig when others are zagging. You don't wanna just chase what's hot and what other people are doing. So if you've been seeing my current PSA submissions and the stuff I've been buying, I bought a ton of basketball in the off season and I'm still holding, I believe in basketball, I'm definitely not getting out of basketball cards. But lately, at this exact moment, I've been picking up soccer cards. Alfonso Davies Optics, $20. James Sancho, $20. Ty Havertz, $18. And also some, some pretty big cards. I'm, I'm walking the walk here, guys, too. I'm not just talking the talk. Stay tuned for my next video where I show my recent pickups. There's some big time soccer cards in there that I think you will really enjoy. The World Cup and the Euros are coming up. And if you guys are not like in the soccer world, just know how big of a deal those two events are and how much attention there will be on soccer at that point. I mean, even if you don't follow soccer at all, just know you know how much attention is placed on soccer in America when the World Cup is going on, especially with the fact that it's very likely the U.S. will be in the World Cup. I think it's going to be insane in the country, but it's also going to be insane in the card market. So. That's it, this was more discussion based, just kind of my quick thoughts on why I've been focusing on picking up soccer cards lately. Definitely let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and we're gonna keep the videos coming. Thanks again.